whose work allows us to pursue our happiness like no one else in the world, like nowhere else in the world. That allow our kids to live a life better than we could ever imagine living ourselves. These are our national heroes, our national treasures. They secure our nation, they secure our lives, they secure our liberty. I'm talking about our men and women in the United States military and their families. Now whenever I do this, sometimes we ask some people are very shy, very humble. Any active duty service members here, please raise your hand. Active duty service members, National Guard, please raise your hand. Thank you. Thank you. Any veterans here tonight? Please raise your hand. Thank you. Any family members of anyone who's ever served moms, dads, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, best friends, please raise your hand. Anyone who's ever had a sleepless night thinking about one of our service members overseas, please raise your hand. Anyone who's ever prayed for one of our service members or all of them to make it home safely, thank you. <laughs> Words can't Words can't do it. They can't, they can't thank you enough. It's our actions is how we pay tribute to you. And I want to apologize. I want to apologize because we've let you down. You've prepared to give your life for the principles that have made this the greatest country in the world. You have left your families for long periods of time. You fought for these principles. And while you were away, while you fought, and while you've been back home, we've let them slip away. We've let them go. You were away. And when you came back, and while you were away, we were basking in those luxuries. Basking in those luxuries, taking them for granted, letting them slip through our fingers, never knowing what we had, and never realizing the result of our apathy. And I'm telling you right now, on behalf of every single person here, we will never let that happen again. Your challenges, your service will never be in vain ever again. We dedicate ourselves right at this moment. We rededicate ourselves to fighting at home for the things that you fought over there. Never again will we ever forget for one moment what you've done for our country. But we want to thank you again. Again, we can't thank you enough with our words. We're going to pay tribute to you with our actions. And what we're going to do right now, before I come back and say a few more words about what we do next, I want to talk with a couple of our, of our heroes, of our nation's heroes. And first, I want to invite up to the stage a veteran of Afghanistan, Operation Enduring Freedom 7, Jason Keel. Yeah. 